Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be filming one of my favorite videos of the year to film. And I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately, but it's tis the season. And the Sephora VIB sale or holiday savings event is a huge deal to me because Sephora brands are what I cover, are what I love. Sephora is my favorite store. So this sale only comes twice a year and each time that it comes, it really is an opportunity for me to truly round up the majority of the products that I've been loving a lot and using. So if you wanna see that, then just keep watching. So the details of the sale, if you aren't familiar with the holiday savings event, they have one over the holidays and normally one in the springtime. It depends what tier you are, but you must be a Sephora Beauty Insider. And I will have a link down below if you aren't. It's completely free to join. There are three tiers. So if you are a Rouge like myself, the sale is going to open up on the 5th. And then I will have all of the other dates for the other tiers. VIP you guys will get 15% off insiders get 10% off and then rouge like myself 20% off so if you're a rouge you're an intense makeup lover like myself so make sure you have your notification bell on and I will notify you guys when each tier opens up. If you do choose to shop through any of my links down below or any of the other links that I post, I do make a small commission. It just goes back into helping out my channel and paying my bills. <laughs> so that would be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's get started with gift sets. This video is huge, you guys. I try a ton of makeup. So maybe you might wanna get a drink or a snack because it's going to be long. And I really couldn't cut this video down because these are the best of the best of the best products that I've tried probably within the last six months. Some products that I am repeating from last saving event and a couple products that I'm bringing out again just because they're that good. So anyways, gift sets. So this is the best gift set in my opinion that Sephora has to offer. This is going to make a great gift for any beauty lover and the fact that I love it for myself even with the amount of makeup that I have should go to show how amazing this set is. Like I'm keeping this for myself. This is mine and I have a lot of makeup and I still was inclined to get this. So this is the Sephora Favorites Beauty Must Have Everyday Best Sellers. So this set actually includes a lot of best sellers or all of them I suppose and it is a really great deal on its own it's $54 but if you can get that extra discount on top it is going to be even more of an amazing value so in it you get a mini grande lash lash enhancing serum which is amazing I'm actually going to make the switch over to grande lash this works my mom uses it and her lashes really are growing a milk makeup hydro grip primer a mini Natasha Denona Biba, I'm excited about this. A little NARS Laguna bronzer. A Benefit 24 hour brow setter, which is one of my favorite brow gels. A full size Fenty mascara. A beauty blender, this right here sold me. A beauty blender alone is $20. So you get a beauty blender and all of this extra stuff and it's starting at $54, you can't beat that. A whey leave-in conditioner, a full size Kosas wet gloss, and a color correcting product from Dr. Jart. This is one of the best deals and in my opinion, one of the best sets of the products included in here. I mean, I just, I'm so excited about this. I highly recommend this. It's great value, great for yourself, great to give somebody else. And I did just talk about this, but I think this set is really awesome. This is from Grande Cosmetics. This is the Groovy Goodness set. So in it, you get a full size Grande Lash, a full size Grande Brow, which helps your brows grow, and then another Grande Lash Enhancing Serum. This is a really great deal. Lash serums are expensive, and this does work. I use New Lash currently, and I love New Lash, but my mom actually gave Grande Lash a try, and her lashes have been growing, and this is more affordable than the New Lash that I use. Once I'm done with my New Lash, I'm going to start picking up these Grande sets because they really are 
a much better value and it's like how different can a lash serum be you know so this is a really great set and i'm telling you lash serums they really really do oh geez they really do work. Before lash serums, I was working with nothing. Like you couldn't even see my lower lashes before lash serums came into my life. Um, this I actually did a full review on and I think it's just a phenomenal kit. So this is from one size and it has three complexion products in here. So this is $42. It's a $61 value. And I'm telling you, sets are the way to go for the holiday savings event because the sets are already discounted or a better value. So if you can get a discount on top of the sets, it's really doubling down on the value that you're getting. So 20% off of $40, I would be getting a full size Secure the Blur Magnet Makeup Primer, which this is okay. It wasn't my favorite thing in the kit, but I mean, it worked. What I'm excited about is the Ultimate setting powder this is really good in smoothing it's a heavy duty powder so it's definitely for those fuller coverage days but I really like the way that this blurred my skin and then you also get a mattifying waterproof setting spray and this is sold out everywhere the only place right now that you can get this setting spray is in this set and it works amazing it's a it's also quite intense like I'd only wear it for full coverage day that I really need it to last a long time but this is a great value. I really enjoyed the products in here. You can check out my review on this if you want more details, but I do recommend this for the sale. I think it's awesome, and it's a great way to introduce yourself to complexion products from one size. I had previously only tried the concealer from his line, and I'd been curious, so this was a great value for me to check out to try out more from the line, and I'm very happy that I did it. This is another set that I picked up for myself that I'm really excited about. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Duo. If you like this, this setting spray you definitely should pick up this set during the sale again it is a great value it comes in such cute holiday packaging this again is another perk for the holidays I just love the packaging um, and you get two travel sizes of the airbrush flawless setting spray this is my favorite setting spray I really do feel like it perfects my makeup and it makes my makeup last longer so it's just a great deal to begin with I wanted that second discount on top so I definitely recommend this if you are into the setting spray. Maybe don't get a duo if you've never tried it before, but if you were running low like me, you need to get this. Great deal. Okay, this is the last set that I have to talk about, and it's like I've destroyed it at this point. I tried to put it back, but this is the Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse Fantasy Foursome set. I recommend these lip gloss sets every year. I have a lot of makeup, so a lot of my makeup does not get used a ton, but these lip glosses from these sets are always very regularly used. I like to use the mini glosses in my purse just for touch-ups, so they often get lost in my purse, but they get used all the time. And then you even get a full-size gloss bump. Oh, sheesh. You even get a full-size gloss bomb cream in candy milk which is really great that it's a full size this again value on top of value it's just the best it's one of my favorite sets i did actually do a review of this set as well as another fenty set that was awesome so definitely definitely if you're interested i recommend these the colors are beautiful quality is great and i actually use this a ton Okay, so those are my top gift sets. Let's get into like the non-gift set, just stuff that I really love. So <laughs> I did go a little bit more strategic in terms of thinking value-wise. So a lot of the products, not all, but a lot of the products that I have to recommend are my more expensive favorites because it's worth stocking up on, well, you can get a discount, you know? So the first one that I have is from Gucci Beauty. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this, but this really has become in the last few months my favorite primer to use. This is the Silk Priming Serum. It's very expensive. I recommend the Fenty over this. They have like a silky priming serum that's really great that's very similar but I like the Gucci better. I feel like it's quite hydrating and it also leaves such a smooth canvas before makeup. It just leaves my skin feeling fantastic and it's quite pricey but I love it and I definitely recommend it if you have dry skin. It's just best to get it well. You can get a little bit of discount on it because I don't think Gucci goes on sale. I, I tried to pick brands today that don't really go on sale because 
you gotta take advantage of that. So this Gucci Priming Serum has been my favorite primer of late. Now foundations, there honestly aren't a lot of great new foundations that I've tried in the recent months. I've just been going back to my old favorites and so a goodie that I am bringing out for the winter is the La Mer the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. This is like top three foundation in my collection which is very hard to get to. Um, I have mine in the shade Natural 1-2. It's extremely pricey, which is why I'm putting it in this video. It truly is one of my favorite foundations. It gives kind of like a semi-hydrating foundation. It gives about a medium coverage. It's very natural on the skin, and your skin just looks perfected. It looks so smooth. It lasts such a long time. It's a foundation that I chose to wear today, and I love this so much. And it's so expensive that I tend to only use it for special occasions, but every time I use it, I'm in love with it all over again. For me, is it worth every penny? Yes, but I'm trying to get out on a discount. The other foundation that I wanted to talk about is a lighter weight foundation. And so this is from Fenty Beauty and this is the Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. I just think that this is absolutely beautiful. It's by far my favorite complexion product that Fenty has come out with because I just felt like I haven't had the best of luck with their complexion products. But this is quite smoothing on the skin. It does give a light to medium coverage. It wears really good. It's just a solid lighter coverage foundation that you can wear. It's very easy to apply and with the whole mask situation I think you know I don't leave my house that much anymore considering that I work from home but this is the perfect just throw on foundation to even everything else if I'm waking up at 5 a.m. to go to a wedding and do makeup I don't really care how I look but I do want to look presentable so that the client can trust me I'll just throw on something like this just to even everything out and it's great let's move on to concealers I have two so the first one is from Fenty Beauty it goes right along with that eavesdrop skin tint. This is the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I love this. Don't go to this for coverage though. Again, this for me is for those no makeup makeup days. It also is for my mask makeup where I don't put anything on my face, but I do want a little bit of brightness in the under eye area. This does not go into fine lines at all, at least on my skin. I find 99.9% .9 of the concealers, no matter what they are, they are going to settle into my fine lines. I mean, that's the texture, that's the movement of my face, I'm smiling. That's okay, it is what it is. This is the only concealer that does not go into fine lines. It completely blurs them out. You just need to keep in mind that it's not about the coverage with this. It really just softly brightens the under eye. Perfect for no makeup makeup. The formula on this, I don't know how they did it. It is so good. But again, I cannot stress this enough. Not good for coverage, but just evens and brightens. Now, my favorite concealer of late has been the ABH Magic Concealer. They found such a good formula for this. So this is comparable to some of my all-time favorite concealers. I find it gives the perfect amount of coverage. It doesn't go into my fine lines too much. I mean, I have it on right now. It can work simultaneously as a spot corrector. You could even blend it out to put it all over the face and it's going to be beautiful. The finish is very skin-like while still providing a lot of coverage. This is, I would say, comparable to the Armani Power Fabric Concealer, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This has all of those similar qualities that those have, which is why I love it so much. So I highly recommend this. This has been one of my most used concealers concealers lately. Okay, I have two powders. I tried to keep two in every category. I didn't do a good job, but up until this point I did. So the first powder that I want to recommend, and this was in the last Sephora VIB savings event, but I did want to bring it back out just because it's still that good. Um, this is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. This is just a friendly reminder to pick this up if you use it as regularly as I do. I love this. If you're looking for a powder that literally looks like you're not wearing powder, this is it. It is such a unique powder. I've never come across a powder quite like this except maybe the Hourglass translucent setting powder kind of does a similar job of not really disrupting the makeup underneath setting but without taking away the glow and the shine. This does take away the glow and the shine a little bit but it's completely traceless on the skin. You still see the glow from underneath. If you have dry skin, you are going to love this. If you're looking for a powder that sets your makeup without looking like powder, without mattifying the skin, worth every penny. The next powder is so old. It's been a favorite of mine for a long time, but I just haven't stopped using this powder. I've tried so many powders, and this is the 
best loose powder I have ever used. So if you have not yet tried the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder, I have mine in the shade Pound Cake. There is nothing that I love more than to set my under eyes with this. I just don't have a product that works as good as this as smoothing everything out. I don't like to bake, but I do like to put a, my sponge in a little bit of powder and just set the under eyes. And even if I keep it all in my T-zone, so blurring, it perfects the skin. This is an older product, so I'm not gonna go on about it too much, but this is amazing. Okay, let's get into bronzers here. So I have the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in light medium. I did wanna get a cream bronzer in here because I do love my cream bronzers. And I wouldn't say that this is my favorite formula, but the color of it is just perfection that I can't stop using it. So I did use it in the demo today. And this color is the perfect contour slash bronzing shade. I find it looks not necessarily natural, but the tone is just perfect. So it does that job of sculpting. And this is the only product that I have ever used that I I prefer the applicator that it comes with because the formula is not creamy as I typically prefer but this brush really works it out so that it is quick and easy and I just love the color of this I think Mario did a great job curating the colors for this collection it's great it's one of my favorites I definitely recommend picking it up and then I do have a powder bronzer that I've been loving this is from Ilia this is the nightlight bronzing powder in the shade drawn in this is a beautiful warm bronzer but not too warm but not too neutral it gives a good amount of color it's actually quite pigmented but it's super easy to work out it is the bronzer that I have on right now I feel like I don't look dirty you could potentially look dirty if you use too dense of a brush but when you use a brush that's nice and soft it just spreads the bronze beautifully it's a gorgeous tone I've been loving this it's a clean beauty brand I'm really happy that I discovered this because this is underrated it is awesome moving on to cheeks I do have a lot of cheek palettes just because there's just a lot that I like so this has been going in and out of stock so here's the deal if this comes in stock this is the Patrick Ta major headlines blush palette if this comes in stock during the sale at any point you need to pick it up I don't even care if you're a beauty insider pay full price for this it's that good it is I don't know what's been going on but it's been going in and out of stock I don't know if they're messing with our minds but whatever I mean I will fall victim to it because it's worth it I love this. So how it works is you do have three cream brushes and then three corresponding powder blushes. It's a formula that you're gonna have to learn to work with though because I will say the creams and the powders are very, very pigmented. These colors are very bright. This palette really is gonna cater to deep skin tones as well because of how bright it is. But if you're lighter like me, you will learn how to adjust with this formula. The colors are beautiful. The formulation is beautiful. One of my favorite formulas are cream blushes right here. The powders blend like butter. It's a bit intense than what I typically prefer, but it's just so good. And this is one that I'm urgently encouraging you to pick up if you can. I also have this trio here from Pat McGrath Labs. And I actually did not put too many Pat McGrath Labs items in here because honestly, she has better sales on her website. Sephora is more reliable with the shipping of her products, but you can get her items up on sale for upwards of 25 to 30% off. So I didn't actually have much to recommend, but this was not on sale on her website. It has not been on sale yet, but it is available on Sephora, so this is the first time it will be on sale. This is the Divine Blush and Glow Trio, particularly, at least for my skin tone, I recommend Galactic Sun. The colors that she put in here are my all-time favorite colors from Pat McGrath. The Divine Rose Blush, Desert Orchid Blush, and Golden Nectar Highlight. So I actually was going to put the individual Golden Nectar Highlight in this video, and for some reason the Illuminator is not on the Sephora website. So you get it in here. <laughs> and the blush colors are absolutely beautiful. Desert Orchid is my all-time favorite from Pat McGrath. It's this beautiful golden apricot kind of shade, and I normally don't like warm blushes, but this does it for me. And then Divine Rose is a classic, gorgeous, mauve rose kind of shade. The formula is beautiful. You do get less product, but honestly, this is a great value, especially if you can get it during the sale. This is the only time you can get it on sale at the moment because Pat McGrath has not put these on sale yet. I believe they are limited edition, so now is the time if you're interested in this. This one, okay, I wasn't too sure if I actually wanted to put it in this video, but 
Charlotte Tilbury is one of those brands that really doesn't go on sale too often. Even on her website when she has sales, they're kind of stuff nobody wants. Or she'll put together bundles that just don't really make sense to the consumer. So I do recommend Charlotte Tilbury as a brand being something that you look deeply into during the sale because she really doesn't go on sale. Um, so I did want to talk about the Nude Gadsm Face Palette. I do think it gives a really pretty glowy look to the face. I'll be the first to admit that I probably haven't reached into this as much as I should. It kind of got put on the back burner for me, but it really is a gorgeous cheek palette. I love this glowy orange blush. It is so beautiful. I guess peachy is a better way to describe it. And this highlight, delicious. This is $75. It is pricey, which is why I wanted to put it in here. And then of course, something that is a little bit more pricier, but everybody has this in their videos because now's the time to pick them up. I've only seen these ever on sale and it was last year, but these are the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palettes for this year. Uh, the general consensus that I'm getting for you guys is you actually prefer the deeper one, even if you're lighter like me. Just know if you're around my skin tone, the highlight might be a bit deep, but the other shades will definitely work for you and the reason that people haven't been liking the lighter one is because it contains this powder which honestly is not my favorite but I really like the light one for me I'm keeping the light one and I actually give the deeper one to my mom I think the deeper one works for me as well but there's something about this where I feel like it's easier for me to use because I don't have to be quite as careful because it's not going to be too much and not going to be too deep so I still recommend this one it's personally my favorite, but I definitely can see why you guys are preferring the deeper one, especially because this powder as a finishing powder, phenomenal, but just pick up one or both. I don't know. I love them. They're great. I mean, they're classics. I pick them up every year over the holidays for a reason. They're just the best. And they have a gorgeous glowy formulation that doesn't necessarily emphasize texture. The formulation just glides over the skin with so much ease and it's difficult to describe, you know. Hourglass powders is just one of those things where you need to experience them for yourself. You need to go out and wear them in natural sunlight so you can truly see the beautiful glow and perfection that it is on your face. Hourglass is just expensive, period. So we want to get Hourglass on sale and we want to get their palettes because those are better values. <laughs> okay, the next product that I have is from Dior, and this is the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer in Nude Glow. I did notice they had a couple shades sold out, but Nude Glow is still available, and I love it. It is the highlighter that I'm wearing now, and yes, I did see that Tati poo pooed this, and I was like, I was taken aback. Normally, I wouldn't say I like everything that Tati likes, but she knows what she's talking about, but I, I really like this. I think it's gorgeous and smooth on the skin. I don't think it's something that you need to run out and pay full price for because we all have so many highlighters at this point, but there's something about a Dior highlighter that I'm always in love with. I love how this has a slightly golden glow to it, but it really is a nude shade. It blends seamlessly into the skin, and I don't know. I think it's a highlighter worth looking into. I wanted to put the $60 Pamagraph highlighter in here, but Sephora doesn't sell it. I love this highlight, so... I like it. I use it a lot. Okay, let's move on to eyebrows. I have, I guess, kind of a set here, but ever since Kosas launched their eyebrow collection, I've had to stop myself from using these because I was using them too much. So we'll start off with the Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil. I use the shade Medium Brow. I like a drier, waxier eyebrow pencil, and for me, that's what this is. It is more dry. I find it very easy to blend out. It doesn't get mushy or lose definition when you blend it out like a more creamy eyebrow pencil would. The tone is perfect. I hate a warm brown eyebrow pencil, which a lot of brands create warm brown, and I'm I just, it doesn't flatter me. It doesn't flatter my hair. So it's a perfect color. It's easy to use because it's not too creamy. It looks good in the brow. Amazing. And then I do like to finish it off with the Kosas Airbrow. I also have this in a color 
like brown, but I prefer the clear. And this is like a soft eyebrow setter. Your eyebrows do really set with this, but it doesn't feel crunchy. It just feels more natural and it looks more natural in my opinion. It's a lighter weight one. That leads me to my next product, which is mine. I want something heavy duty. And this has been out of stock for quite a long time, which I'm very, very sad about. But if this does happen to come back in stock, I do recommend trying out the Patrick Tom Major Brow Lamination Gel. I did not think that this was going to be something that I would love so much. In fact, I tried it once and then I kind of forgot about it. I wasn't that impressed, but now I've been loving it. I just love the way the applicator has the bristle set up because it really does separate the brow hairs in a way that makes your brows look more thick and voluminous. But, oh my gosh, this is like glue for your eyebrows. It is a bit intense. You might not like the intensity of it, but you know, my eyebrows ain't going nowhere. I have it on one of my brows and just comparing it to the Coco Sauce, they feel so different. But when I want something more intense that's really going to guide where my eyebrows go, supposed to give that lamination effect so you know they're supposed to stand straight up I don't exactly do that but I just love the way that this makes my eyebrows look fuller and it controls the situation if you have curly or unruly eyebrows I definitely recommend trying this out I just need it to come back in stock that's the problem with this it's not ever in stock Patrick Tom come on Patrick Tom Okay, I have two eyeliners to talk about with you guys. So the first one is very pricey, but I've quickly learned it's my all-time favorite liquid liner. <laughs> this is the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. So what's awesome about this is it has two ends. We have a longer side here, and then we also have a nice short side. I don't know what it is about this pen, but I've never found it easier nor quicker to create a winged line with liquid liner. The formula is not too watery, it's nice and black, and there's something about the applicator that just makes a wing and the product goes where I want it to go. Sometimes with these liquid pens is that the eyeliner doesn't necessarily go where you place the applicator. This goes exactly where you place the applicator. So it's super easy and quick and pretty foolproof. So if you've been struggling with eyeliner, this might be a good look for. And then I also like to use the smaller side to get in the inner corner to keep it nice and thin. So if that's something that you struggle with, keeping it thinner on the inner corner of the eye, the dual-sided applicator that we have really does work. I've had this for a couple months, but nothing crazy. But you guys have told me that this does not dry out and it lasts forever. So I'm gonna take your word for it. So far, so good. I love it, I recommend it. It's something that I'm putting in my cart to hopefully pick up, to have it back up. So I do have another Fenty product for you guys, and it is the Fly Liner in Big Truffle. So I did review this when I talked about the holiday palette that Fenty came out with, which I do not recommend. But this eyeliner is so good. It is a felt tip, but this is the most unique brown eyeliner I have come across. I do not have another color like this. It's like a warmer brown, which typically isn't a color that I would think I would really like, but I do. It's great for more natural makeup, but since it's a liquid liner, it still is intense. I love the applicator. I find it very easy to create a wing with. And um, I don't know, it's just something that I wouldn't have thought I would have liked so much. But I love this. It's such a unique color. I do not have an eyeliner like this in my collection and I've been loving it a lot. We're gonna do my last few lip products. It's not too many and then we are gonna get into eyeshadow palettes, I promise. But I actually just mentioned these in my October favorites and I already have it in my mind that I'm gonna pick up more colors for the sale. But these are the Patrick Ta Precision Lip Crayons. Patrick Ta has killed it this year. Before this year, I liked his makeup brand, but I wasn't completely sold. I'm now sold on his makeup brand. I think he does a great job with his products. I didn't think I would like these. I typically like a sharpenable lip crayon, but there's something about the application of this that I love. It's just an angled application. It's a push-up, which again, I didn't think I was going to love, but these are just creamy enough, but they're dry enough that you know they're going to last a long time. And I think Patrick Ta is really good at understanding color. Like the colors of his lip products just 
are unique, but they make sense. They're neutral, but they're still different. So right now I'm actually wearing the darker of the two that I have, which is Oshi Single around the edges of my lips, just to create some added definition. But a great color that I do recommend for something more wearable is She's Proud. It's a great nude lip color. Uh, but he has multiple other colors that I do plan on picking up. You know, maybe we'll see how it goes. But been loving those. The texture is not too creamy, not too dry. It's just perfect. And you know, it's going to last a long time. And the colors just look so good that I put them all over my lips sometimes. Okay, these next products I have recommended. I'm pretty sure like every Sephora. <laughs> VIP sales since they came out. Natasha Denona lipsticks, okay? I was always looking to grow my collection. I've grown them quite quite large at this point, so I don't need any more of these, but if you haven't grown your Natasha Denona lipstick collection, you're missing out. I just want to recommend a couple of colors to you, and I might have um, actually recommended this color to you last VIB sale, and if I didn't, I've recommended it a lot on my channel. This is Amorosa. If you're like me and you like more pinky, purpley kind of looks, this is the perfect color for a pinky purple look. It's cool, but it's pink and it's neutral. I love it. And Natasha Denona lipsticks in general are extremely creamy, very comfortable. They're one of my all-time favorite formulas, even more creamy than a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I love these. They're almost too creamy. I will admit that they will melt if they are in a warm environment, but they're so good. And Natasha came out with amazing nude shades. The other shade that I really have been loving is very, very nude as well. This one means a little bit more peach. This is Andrea. And, ugh. Just that creamy formula. Love it so much. These are the two shades that I've been loving the most for more nudie kind of looks. And then I have a super duper 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 nude lipstick from Gucci. Now, when I buy a lipstick from Gucci, it really is a treat to myself because the component itself truly is a work of art. I recommend treating yourself during the sale because look how beautiful this is. This is the aesthetic I want my future makeup room to be. And the color that I have is not traditionally one that I would recommend to you guys, but it's going to highlight the lips. So this is Linda Beige. It is the lightest color that they have to offer in the Gucci line. And if you've seen the amount of colors that they have in their lipstick line, there's a lot. But this I like to just put in the center of the lips to add a more pouty look. So I have on pretty light lips right now, so it's not gonna make that much of a difference. So you see, it's great to just highlight the lips. So I've been loving putting this in the center of the lips, but I mean, Gucci, I feel like has hundreds of color in this lipstick line. I just recommend picking up one just because they're so pretty, but I love that color. It's time to get into eyeshadow palettes, and I think the last Sephora sale, when I looked it up, I only recommend like three eyeshadow palettes. I don't know how I did that because so many good palettes have come out that this, it's just going to be a long portion. I can't go without mentioning these. So we'll start off with the one that I'm wearing. And I'm pretty sure everybody who bought this has put this in their own recommendations video for good reason. I'm not going to stand out because I also think this is great. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey. Again, the same reason that I put in the blush palette. This has not been on sale yet. The only place that you can buy this on sale is the Sephora website for the sale. And this is a great value to begin with, in my opinion. It's $78 full price, but you just get phenomenal formulas, a phenomenal color story here. I mean, I don't need to tell you why I love this palette, why I love Pat McGrath. I think I've made myself clear plenty of times, but this is the time to pick it up if you can get it for a discount. I think it's a good value to be begin with and I say this I prefer last year's but there's something about this that's just so much more wearable I think for most of you guys you are going to prefer to have this one over last year's because the colors are super friendly you can also add pops of color today I went for like a watermelon look and did the pink and the green together I don't know I thought it was fun but yeah being completely honest with you guys and I'm going on a tangent here I really like this palette but it doesn't allow me to be as fun and creative as I would like. For some reason, I do feel a little bit stunted by this palette because there's too many neutrals. I just want to add blues everywhere when it comes to Pat McGrath, but it's, it's a really good palette, and I think so many of you guys are going to love it. 
Okay, this was not something that I originally had planned like two weeks ago to put into this video, but I gotta talk about this Dior Quint that I tried. This is the shade Soft Cashmere, and I think I got this the last Sephora sale, and I recently used it, and I was like, oh my god, this is incredible, and if you need to get this <laughs> for this sale. So Dior is hit and miss with their Quints. But their permanent luxury quint line is where it's at. Amazing quality. The best of the best that they offer. This soft cashmere, if you like neutral neutrals, leaning a little bit more cool. This is like definitely more cool taupey. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Right up my alley. This brown, super blendable, really, really pigmented. The shimmer... I forgot how good their permanent line formula was. I mean, I reviewed a few of their past collections. I mean, like, yeah, they're really good. They're really pretty. But, like, no, this is worth the price. So if you like the perfect, cooler, neutral palette that's easy to grab for, you don't have to think too hard, soft cashmere. Okay, let's get into my Charlotte Tilbury palettes. <laughs> Again, Charlotte Tilbury does not have good sales. I want to start off with the instant look of love in a palette. This has struck me for some reason. I feel like nobody else is talking about this any longer, but I still can't stop. So this came out with two different shades. For me, I am of a lighter complexion, so the Pretty Blush Beauty, I just love it. I think the array of products, let's listen, let, here, what a good deal this is. So this has her Airbrush Flawless Powder formula in here. This I tell you to buy it individually, but it's in here. We also have a great bronzer, three beautiful eye shades, a highlight. You know, these are in a duo that you pay a lot of money for, but you can get these for a lot cheaper. And then a pretty glowing blush. I love the light glowing look that this creates overall. It's a phenomenal value because her individual products are in this palette. It's not talked about enough. This is a great value, great for travel, highly recommend it. Another product that I did not expect to love as much as I do, her quads, I don't normally really recommend them because I do think they're a bit overpriced, but this luxury palette of pearls in Celestial Pearls, make sure you get the Celestial Pearls one because the other one's not as good. Beautiful, this has changed the way that I look at certain shades and palettes for the eye. Normally, I like a little bit of depth, but there's something about this palette that made me realize sometimes it's just about the glow. It doesn't need to be about the depth. You can let the liner and the lashes do the talking as far as the depth. And, I mean, mm, this is really, really good. Do I think it's as good as Fire Rose? Probably not. Fire Rose does give you that depth. But this gives me the prettiest glowing eye that I've ever seen Charlotte Tilbury do. And it's $53. I think a little bit more than that. It's very expensive for this little doodad. But I've been loving it a lot. It's become one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury quads. The last one. If you are not down to pay $53 for a quad, understandable. Maybe look into this guy. So this is the annual holiday palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Instant Eye Palette in Smoky Eyes Are Forever. I wouldn't necessarily say this is my favorite instant look. What is it? Instant Eye Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. But it's the newest one this year and I still think it's worth it. I think, honestly, the way that she organizes these, it almost covers the colors of the quads that she has and puts them into one palette like this looks like green light to me this looks like copper charge to me this looks like exaggerized or something to me these are dupable within her own line it's the best value that you can get with a charlotte tilbury palette and i honestly feel like there's something about the formulation in her instant eye palettes that are better than the quads better than some quads at least so food for thought this is an older palette but i need to remind you that i still love this palette it's one of my favorites from ab8 this is the norvina volume 5 palette i think it convinced a lot of you that maybe you might need this that was a few months ago so i'm here to remind you now is the time to pick it up if you want it i just i love this i think this is an expensive palette but you get a lot of colors and the formulation in here is really really good i love the array of colors 
You must be a purple lover though. If you don't like purple eyeshadows, please just skip over this. But the textures in here are really good, glittery, shiny. And the corresponding colors in here just make sense to be paired with purples. Like this right here, I'm living for to pair with these purples. Mm, perfect, love it. One of my favorite palettes from ABH. Maybe if you're not so into the purples, she did just launch the Primrose palette, which I think is really, really good. I'm not gonna talk too much about this one because I wouldn't necessarily say I'm in love with it, but if you really enjoyed this color story, definitely pick this up if you're interested because the quality here is really good. Uh, this is one of the better palettes. I mean, ABH has done these two palettes this year and they've been bomb. I'm very happy with this one as well. As you can see, it's a little bit more neutral, a little bit more wearable. It wasn't necessarily a color story that I needed to add to my collection, but I'm very happy nonetheless. I think the array of these colors really makes sense. They're wearable. You still have some versatility here. Just something to look into. I feel like a lot of you guys would like this one. I, I couldn't not put in the newest Natasha Denona palette that I love, okay? I know she's come out with other palettes, but it's this is where my heart lies. This is the glam. This is the Natasha Denona Retro palette. It's the midi size, so it already is a good value to begin with, in my opinion, but I love this palette. If you like the mauve pinky tones, something more cool toned, maybe consider picking this one up. It's really, really pretty. This for me is an ideal everyday palette. I like pinks, pinks and purples, okay? These are part of my everyday color story. She did a great job with this one, so. This one is so, this one is not brand new anymore, but it's newer, and if you've been holding off, here you go. Putting this one in purely because it is a brand new palette and you can get it at a discount, but I do suggest try and put it in your basket as soon as you can because I think this one is going to fly. It's the newer products that is going to go out of stock fast. Like I think the Pat McGrath might go out of stock fast. This one might. The Hourglass will probably sell out fast. It's the newer, more popular holiday stuff that you gotta be careful for that typically sell out in a day. But mm, I love this, the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. It is stunning. And this is one of the ones that I think is going to be first to go. Uh, I could be wrong, I hope I'm wrong. I hope everybody's able to access this if they want it. But this palette is stunning, literally beautiful. Have you seen my review yet? The look I did, per. Perfection. Beautiful, sparkly, duochrome. Oh, yes. This one I like better than the Mercury. I don't know if I like it better. I'm not going to go that, that far, but it has more depth than the Mercury Retrograde. It stays more to a true color story, which I wouldn't necessarily say makes it better than Mercury Retrograde, but I think it makes it more wearable, you know, without those pops of blue. It still is colorful and playful while still being a little bit more subdued. If you like the cooler, purpley, grayish tones. I really think you'll like this. I love the textures that she added in here. I mean, you can see it for yourself and it's very popular right now. Everybody is loving it. The packaging is beautiful. The quality is beautiful. Need I say more? I just, if you're interested in it and you haven't picked it up yet, I'm assuming that you're waiting until the sale and very good choice. I mean, it is, it's beautiful. So anyways, I've had to stop multiple times to take deep breaths and drinks of water because that was a lot of talking. I don't know how I managed to pick out so many products, but this time of year with makeup, it literally adds life to me. I was so excited to film this video. There's so many good products that I wanted to talk about. Those are all of my recommendations for the VIP sale. So let me know what are you planning to pick up for the event. I would love to hear it. And thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.